Hello everybody, welcome back to Pat Foot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in accident once again for our fourth episode. Let's jump right into it. We finished out in Sweden last time, we're gonna head to France this time. It's gonna be at 112 on August 12th, and looks like we have a car off of a cliff. Ariane Bernice Gulliam. I have no idea, I'm gonna butcher all that, and Hugo. <laughs> Let's put the disc in, put on those VR goggles, and let's head to the crash site. Alright, driving along, of course, the cliffs in France. And some sort of wanted to be hot rod. Oh god, that frame rate in the mirror. <laughs> very, very tight turn up here. I see a vehicle semi off. Oh, we see a car upside down and what looks like it was smoldering at one point. We have two, three, it looks like three vehicles at this point. Where's my phone? Phone is over here. Hazard lights are on. Give a call to 112. Wah wah, wah wah, wah wah. Okay, can't get into the glove box. So let's climb on out. Looks like we do have a fire going. Oh my god. The fact that anything fits in this. Okay, we do have a fire extinguisher. Where is the fire? Oh, it's the whole car. I can't pick up the engine. Come on, you. Not picked up the engine. I mean, pick up the hood. Scenario failed. Inadequate help. You did more harm than good. Hold up. All I did <laughs> was pull out the fire extinguisher. What? All right, let's let's do this again, shall we? Put out the fire. So you can cure the car on the edge. Okay. Well, I guess we have to do that first. How are we going to do this? Trunk. Oh god. Okay. Uh ba 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 ba. ba. I don't know what to do here. How am I supposed to secure that? Open up the trunk. Emergency triangles, fire extinguisher, first aid kit. I don't. Yeah, there it goes! Rocks. I could have probably done the rocks. Well, shit. Rewind! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, so that's the problem here. Okay, we got it. We got this. Let's back it up. Okay, we put on our hazards here. That's what we've got to do. Let's climb out. Secure the car on the cliff. All right, so everything can move here. Let's grab this. Let's put them in the trunk. That makes sense to me. Put some heavy stones in the trunk. Stuck. Pick it up. Another stone. Another stone. Okay, turn off the ignition. I want to put out the fire first. Trunk. Also, uh... Bad on how you say that I've done <laughs> more damage than good. I called bullshit on that. Again, I didn't know that the car was going to be the biggest thing I was going to have to worry about. Okay, that's empty. Let's see. Does she have one in her car? hope so. Fire extinguisher. I'm sure. Here we go. Again, I wish I could have opened up the hood. Okay, fire is done. Turn off the ignition in the vehicles as much as we can. Mark the accident location. Turn off, grab the triangle. Run it up the road. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, at least the fire is out. We've only got two people living, at least in this little piece right here. That's horrible. All right, let's secure the scene while we're just here. Let's do that. First aid kit, keep it with me. Road triangle all the way down here. What a beautiful view, though. Sorry, <laughs> I can't. I can't ignore how beautiful the views are here in this game. Let's drop that down. Head on up. Keep on going. All right. Second ignition. It must be the one that's on the cliff. Now I really don't want to do much. Hello, sir. I opened your door. I can't do anything for that. I would assume the ignition shouldn't be on in this one. Uh -huh. I 
I doubt that one, but checking the victim here. Shake their shoulder. Their eyes are open. They've got a broken neck. Doesn't mean they're dead, necessarily. Depends on how severe the break is. Okay, we have one deceased. Of course, I can't make that determination, but to, to me, they are dead. We have a gut wound. We've got a bruise on the leg. I mean, they took one hell of a fall. Check for breathing. Nothing. Okay. They came down the cliff. So they took one hell of a ride to begin with. Let's uh, check the exact location before we check the other two. One is awake and alert. He's stuck in his car, though. Checking the nav. Say so that didn't help me at all. I didn't see anything on that one. Okay, let's continue on. Let's check the victim in this car. Can you hear me? Lift her head backwards. Check her breathing. Okay, she is breathing and she is conscious. Now we've got one more person. He happens to still be in the car. He's alive. Sir, can you hear me? I'm gonna help you out, okay? I try to help the man get out of the car. Okay, wait for help to arrive. Okay, do I just sit in my car then? If so, that'll be a quick one. I kind of feel like they're getting a little bit quicker. The Russia one at least had some time. <clears throat> Wait for help. <clears throat> ah! Okay, our first airlift. That one's neat. I mean, up here in the Alps, that kind of probably makes the most sense. I'm going to assume that she, well, she must be the one getting lifted out but all right let's discover the cause well this one shouldn't be that hard it really looks to me that they rolled down the cliff and had one hell of a day that rock uh, car debris yeah Ooh, what's this go up well no shit <clears throat> all right we're on top of the uh, mountain area oh shit well God, it throws you way over. All right, let's go up. Let's go back up. Well, actually, let's grab the skid mark. Let's grab the ones while we're, while we're here. Nothing to really do with this car. You had the skid marks go off to the side. Oil puddle is irrelevant. Impact point. They crashed into each other. Okay, we got to figure out what caused up the hill. Alright, let's go up the hill. Tire. Looks like the tire from the tutorial. Alright. So it looks like it's gonna be on it's obviously gonna be on the downward side. Don't click that one. Okay, that's the edge of the map here. Let's go up. Okay, so they were coming down. They for some reason lost control. Now, did they hit something? Scratch marks. See us stand over a large rock and blows a tire. Weird kind of jumps to that conclusion, but all right. So the hit, and then tumble down the cliff. Okay, <laughs> let's put this one together. Here, down, down the cliff, impact trying to avoid the impact almost goes completely off the cliff. Success! Let's see. When emergency services were finally able to remove Ariane from the car, it was already too late. She died either when their car fell down the hill or when the car crashed into him. A few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. That's so sad. This game is so sad. <laughs> While his car was rolling down the hill, um, he hit it's roof so hard that it broke his neck and he died instantly. Benice, uh, despite losing consciousness, Benice was not seriously injured during the accident. She was revived shortly after arriving at the hospital and left it in two days. 
After that, she uh, contacted Dubas and Kaplan families and helped them deal with their grief. They remain close, close friends to this day. Well, that's actually nice. How's this guy doing, though? <clears throat> Hugo. Took Hugo several hours to recover from the psychological shock that he experienced when his car stopped just at the edge of the cliff. The incident triggered uh, severe uh, acrophobia, fear of heights, that haunts him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a local psychologist, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. Again, that's got to be completely terrifying. Well, that's success. Well, that's the end of this one. Let's head back to the office. All right, we're back in the office, and I've decided for this episode that I don't want it to be super slow. We are going to do two. We're going to jump into Street Race here in Tennessee, USA in 2004. It's uh, 142 in the morning. We have William, Freddie, Jason, and Bethany all involved in this accident. Let's put in that CD. VR goggles on. Let's head to the scene. All right, welcome to Tennessee, USA in 2004, July 27th. I take off my headphones and go running to the street. Okay, I can kind of control where I'm looking. Alright, well, we got pizza off to the left. That's good to know at 126 in the morning. Automobile. There's a steakhouse. Alright, we've got a body on the ground. We've got cans and a carriage. 100% looks like um, they may have hit a pedestrian. Of course, my battery is dead. I highly doubt that this person's going to have one. Doors jammed. Ruptured radiator. Do you have a phone? Okay. Is there a payphone? I doubt it. In this time and age, like, I highly doubt it. Passenger door. Do you have a phone? Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to get a phone from. What about you? Do you have your phone very handy? Right there on the floor, maybe? Oh, there's the sign there. Unlock the trunk. That'll help us a lot. Oh, my God. How am I supposed to call emergency services here? Climb on out. Is that a phone booth? No shit. Really? Awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Wait, can I not use it? Are you kidding me? Can I not use the phone booth? Oh, come on. Use the one that's... Okay. Don't use that one, but we want you to use this one. Because you definitely have ones right across the street from each other. A little bit of a pain in the ass. That phone's not even connected to anything. Alright. People are fading. Come on. Security area before doing anything else. Also, please don't hang up and return me if you don't know what to do. Oh. Well, I've got to hang up. Well, I mean, kind of. Secure the area. Alright, turn off the ignitions in the vehicles. One. That one's jammed. I hate having to climb into this thing. I already popped his trunk. That's going to be helpful. Ignition is off. Both are off. Mark the accident location. I need three. I only got two. So unless you've got a second one. Oh, emergency flares. That's interesting. Welcome to the United States, I guess. Do you have a second one? I was going to take that first aid kit and already have that one ready. Do you happen to have a third flare? You do. And this guy is ready. I mean, they're used to sold in packs of three anyways. But... All right, that's set. Check all four victims. All right, here we go. I mean, wait, there's a fourth victim? Oh, the one on the ground. That's right. Sir, can you hear me? Check here. Undo the seatbelt. Let's put that up. Of course, their radiator is hissing. Obviously, not the best game for somebody with hard of hearing to, uh, to be playing here. I do believe that I hear breathing over the radiator. Good. She is in a seatbelt. Undo the seatbelt. Open up her airway. Let's take a listen. Yes. Yep, we've got breathing. So there's that. Let's inspect this guy. 
Give him a shake. We've got a wound to his chest, abdomen, and upper leg. He is breathing as well. Okay, now my location. Now I assumed... Uh, do we not have street signs? Wait, wait, I see you. We're at the junction of South Street and 8th Ave South. Okay, last victim in the car. We're gonna have to get into his seat. I can see the pamphlet on the ground. I saw that the first time we got in here. This guy is screwed up major. <laughs> Laceration to the face. Do the seatbelt. Lean your head back, dude. Okay, victim is not breathing, laceration, and a bruise to the head. Pass this information off to dispatch. Back to the phone. Okay. It's between the driver and the person on the ground. Of course, it takes so long to get in here and talk to them. CPR until the ambulance arrives. If you can pull him out. Okay, car driver. This is in the most dire situation. And I'm gonna say it's probably the guy on the ground, but alright. You you do what you do. Alright, let's administer first aid. Here's that. Gloves. Open his airway. Oh, open his airway all the way. Mask, here's that. Let's try chest compressions. Your score. I don't care about my score. Score. Here's the lives. Let's go. Breathe in. Breathe in. Check for breathing once more. I hear nothing. Is that it? Hor way wrong. Way wrong for the siren, but right for the ambulance. Uh actual texture so that was my thing that's what I was gonna be looking for here um, <clears throat> gather all the clues well we had somebody crossing the street hit by the car oh my god there's just blood on the ground okay I'm going to assume that, that light was faulty I would like to use that I can't why can't I I'd like to have that as a clue. Okay, well, let's jump over here really quick because I can't obviously get up to that. Point of impact. <clears throat> Ancient smoke is irrelevant. What's your light doing? Again, I can't click on that. I would like to, but I can't. Pamphlet, that's the clue, a legal street race, and it's the light, but I can't get up onto the light. I can't jump, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I'm, tr I'm trying to. can't get any closer. That's the problem. There's no ladder around. There's nothing for me to... St I can't stand. <clears throat> oh, come on. That's not fair. There's no power box for this thing, right? Like the actual distributor box for signal? No. I literally just can't grab the last clue. <clears throat> I know. I 
go street racing. Light not working. Hitting him. And there, I can't get the last clue. Are there, con let's see, game gameplay tips, options? Is there controls? Controls. Rewind time, sort events, move backwards. I can't jump. I can't do anything. Oh, this is frustrating. All right, well, I'm going to keep poking at this, and then if I can get it to work, we'll pop back in with you guys. All right, after some investigating, uh, I actually had to go to the forum. This would actually come up to saying irrelevant if you actually get to go. This is not the issue. I was told is that you can actually come. I said the sports car is true. Yeah, the sports car stopped in the middle of an intersection caused the accident. So that one, that's, I, I don't like that. I didn't like how this one went here. Where's my other cookie? Are you that broken now? One, two, three. Why are you so broken? Oh, come on. The game is so still broken. There it is. Okay, awesome. Street race. Finish the scenario. Okay, a little broken. It's okay, I'm still loving this game. William, in addition to several injuries, the cat crash broke William's left leg. As a result, the poor overall health of William immediately slipped into a coma. His health was so poor and that he never recovered from it and died in the hospital four months later. Again, street racing is just so freaking stupid. Freddy. Your immediate assistant saved Freddy's life. The paramedics were able to revive him on the way to the hospital where he was charged with a causing serious injury by driving recklessly, uh, which eventually resulted in a 10-year prison sentence. Yeah, well, it's vehicular manslaughter, so there's that. Jason. Jason didn't suffer any in, uh, serious injuries from the accident and was quickly released from the hospital. He soon became interested in Freddy Weaver's case, and some believe his testimony was the main reason for Freddy's unusually high sentence, although no one was able to find any solid evidence. <laughs> Bethany, just like her husband, the accident didn't cause Bethany any major injuries. Just two weeks later, she was able to return to work as the mayor's assistant. Ah, uh, that seems a little shady, but all right. <laughs> and the scenario, let's head back to the office. All right, we're back in the office and we've got new, new ones. We have Highway Disaster in Hungary, Distractions in Poland, and in Mexico, Desert Encounter. So we've got at least three more. Wow, cool. <laughs> this game just keeps on giving to us. You just let me know that there's more, isn't it? Yeah, another batch of cases right here. I know you can solve them. Well, you know what? We've been playing this uh, for a couple, for an hour or so now. I think I'm going to do a couple more for you guys because I think it's that much fun and then we got some new games to go into. But with that, I think, um, but yeah. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, we do um, try to upload to the channel every day if you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to follow us around, we do have an Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. And uh, with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.